there has been an outpouring of voicemails and messages from you about what should happen now. Now, because this is a shortened holiday week, there will be an opportunity for you to call in this week and talk to me. We've been phasing out live calls as a regular feature of the Friday show, but because it's a special shortened holiday week on the Wednesday show, we will be providing an opportunity for people to call in and weigh in on whatever they want. We will probably take those calls sometime Tuesday afternoon. So keep an eye on the discord or the Twitter for that. But at least as far as the voicemails are concerned, two one nine two David P. Many, many calls about the debate. Let's listen to one debate performance by Joe Biden. Oh, sorry. Let's start it at the actual beginning here. It, with regard to the disastrous debate performance by Joe Biden. Now every Republican knows how I feel every time that I watch Donald Trump speak while he was president. The complete zero confidence, unsettledness from all the lies being told. I'll, uh, I'll stick with the guy with dementia, with, uh, surrounded by competent people over the complete lying, insane, pathological, chaotic mess that'll ensue with another uh, Trump presidency, with the uh, liars that he surrounds himself with. Yeah. So listen, the point that the caller is making and and sort of uh, making not exactly at the speed of light is that if we have two candidates with brain problems here, for lack of a better term, then I'm voting for the people around Biden rather than the people around Trump. The people around Trump are absolute lunatic, criminal, borderline criminal, in some cases, uh, sycophants and authoritarians. The people around Biden have been doing a pretty good job. And it really is that simple for a lot of people that I uh, heard from uh, in different in different ways. Here's one more. Hey, David, uh, I just wanted to share some thoughts about after Biden's performance at the debate and all that stuff. Um, I think after seeing Biden like that, it would be very, very reassuring if we were all just grown ups about it and they had him get a checkup from a doctor, you know, do the cognitive test, whatever that Trump likes to brag about, present it to the American people. If there is a problem, let's be grown ups. And we will realize that, yes, of course, he would need to be, be replaced at that time. We could make some decisions. But I know you were talking about Gavin Newsom. But one name I would really like to throw out there is Eric Swalwell. All right. So listen, I think Eric Swalwell is interesting. I think Gavin Newsom is interesting, et cetera. As far as the cognitive tests, I'm still where I was at the very beginning of this. Give real cognitive tests, not that wacky thing that was given to Trump to every single candidate. I don't know that constitutionally it can really be mandated as a matter of law. It seems complicated, but I would be thrilled if every single candidate submitted to such a test and then we can make whatever decisions we want to make on that basis. So no issue here at all. Uh, on the bonus show today, we are going to delve into more detail into the specific scenarios of the Biden replacement that's being discussed. How would it actually work? Who would decide? What is the justification given that no one will have voted for the replacement? And could that be a problem? We're going to talk about all of this on the bonus show. Secondly, more destruction of the separation of church and state as Oklahoma orders schools to teach the Bible in every classroom. This can't possibly be constitutional either, can it? Well, we will discuss. And also, I have been following very closely the first round of parliamentary elections in France, where there is a decided rightward swing and a significant blow to Emmanuel Macron. What is happening in France? Why is it happening? We will talk about it. All of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Don't miss it. Sign up at joinpacman.com.